Amy, Betty and Candice shared a box of stickers. So this box of stickers is the whole thing that they have. So I will start by drawing one whole chunk. Amy received one third of the stickers and this stickers is the whole thing. So she received one third. The denominator is the total parts and Amy received one unit. So I will cut this into three parts and Amy received one part. Then the second part, Betty gets one quarter of the remainder. So let's take a look at the remainder of the portions. It's two units here. So Betty gets one quarter only. So we have to cut this into four parts. And Betty get this part. And the remainder or the rest goes to Candies. So our model is drawn, but let's take a look at this part of the model, Amy's portion. Just now remember, every one unit we cut it into two parts. So to be able to make a comparison, we have to cut Amy's portion into two as well. So now we can start to answer the question, what fraction of the box of stickers did Candice receive? So Candice receive this portion, which is one, two, three units. So three units out of two, four, six, six units in all. So we divide by three, divide by three. And our answer is half. Okay, let's start by drawing the model. Every question for fractions now, you have to start by drawing the model to help yourself visualize so that you can get stronger in this chapter. Okay, so Denise spent one quarter of her money on, the, on a pencil. So one quarter, total, there are four parts. Think in that way. And she spent one unit on pencil. So one unit, pencil. Then she spent half of the rest. This phrase, half of the rest. This one just now was total. But now this is remainder. So again, this is remainder concept. So let us take a look at the remainder first. We have three units here. But she said she spent half. So let's do a drop down. Imagine this is one whole new chunk again. And she spent half. So I'm going to do it this way. But observe these two parts the one that is cut into three and the one that is cut into two they are of equal portions correct they are of equal portions so how can we divide them such a way that they can be compared so we take a look at the three and we take a look at the two the common multiple of three and two is six so I'm going to cut them up into six. To cut two parts into six, I have to cut them up into threes. And to cut one part into six, uh, one part into the top part, three units into six, we have to cut each part into two. So now you can see they are of equal. Okay, six units. So let's do the same for the one unit over here. So we cut it into two. Now to understand a little bit about the model. For the total, there are two, four, six, eight units. And how much was left? Since half of the portion spent on a highlighter, the other half would be what's left. And we can use that to compare. One, two, three units. Three units left, and the total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So our answer is three eight of her money was left. Ella used one third of a flower. 
to make a cinnamon and I use one third of a flour to make some cinnamon biscuits so of a flour this will be the total and total how many units three so let's start the model by drawing three units and she used one third so cinnamon biscuits then the next one three quarter of the remaining flour same let's take a look at this remaining flour we have two units left or what we call we have two third left that's the remainder two third the total there are three but remainder only two units but she used three quarter of the remaining flour so we have to compare with this now it's four units so we have to cut this into four parts how do we do so each of this will be cut into twos okay now since we have cut every unit into two like what we have mentioned in the previous question we also have to do the same for the first unit to be able to make a comparison okay so let's cut that and then now let's see she spent three she used three quarter of remaining flour on the strawberry shortcake and then they said she's left with 800 gram of flour so this the remaining is 800 gram and just now we have already made a comparison every of this unit they are the same so to answer the question how much flour did she have at first at first how many units let's count one two three four five six units and I know one unit is equals to 800 gram so to find that what she had at first would be six units six times 800 gram giving me 4,000 800 gram so that's my final answer so drawing the model is very important because you have just started learning this remaining concept you can draw the model to be able to see it and you see how the parts have changed Fiona spent two-fifths of her money again that is the total and total there are five units she spent two units on some durian puffs so start by drawing a chunk again and how many units do I have five one two three four five units and she spent two-fifths on durian puff but I do not know how many durian puffs she spent after walking away from the shop she changed her mind and decided to use one third of her remaining money so there are three units for the remaining and let's check do we have three units for remaining one two three so over here we don't have to draw a drop-down model because the remaining is just nice okay so and we don't even have to cut up into parts because there are already three units for the remaining parts and now let's answer the question she used one third to buy six durian puff well it is clear to us that one unit is equals to six durian puffs and the question wants to know how many durian puffs did she buy all together so one unit six durian puff three units will be six times three eighteen durian puffs and that's the final answer